feminist sisters who love their sisters, who will die for their sisters, will take a bullet for their sisters, but will not share their husbands for their sisters. You can lie to your, uh, your spouse. You can lie to your, uh, your spouse. So can they, can they lie in the context of, for example, if one says, oh, I sense that you've got a second wife. Can he, says, can he say, no, I don't? Yes, you can. You can say that. You can say that. Yes, I, I personally <laughs> believe this what? is... Uh, uh, the Prophet said you can do it. Well, like white, so, what, what, white lies? It doesn't have to be white. It can be a black lie. If someone does this and they get caught, for example, mm. or something happens, or... Yeah, need or, he, to... or she just asks him, where were you last night? Yeah, but even that, he can lie. The man can do it. It's up to the man. No woman can take that right man away from the man. Okay. Aside from El Islam, I think my integrity, my dignity, my, you know, who I am as a person, I would think it's so disrespectful for my husband to go and marry somebody else secretly. That to me is cheating, okay, even if okay, it is fine. islamically well, correct. This idea of aside Islam, we're Muslims. There is no aside Islam in this discussion, but I'm speaking to a Muslim. Mm -hmm. So there is no aside Islam here. The true religion, which I'm now expected as a Muslim man to follow, is not the religion of El Islam, it's the religion of women's feelings. I'm not gonna do this. So I'm saying now we we'll go back to the book and the sunnah. What exactly is a secret marriage? It is not made public, it's not publicized. So the point is this, you know, let me be real, yeah? If you love your, if you've got a good husband, he comes and he says, I want a second wife, all hell breaks loose. And then we blame this man. Yeah, but why are you keeping it secret? What else should he do? And so they perform the marriage in somebody's house and there are two witnesses present and nobody knows about this. When the prophet, he, he kept a secret from some of his wives. Yeah. Some scholars, I'm not gonna go into detail, but some scholars actually connect this with an incident yeah. with Maria the cop to lying is not allowed except for three things. One of them is hadith of Rajul Imra'ati that for, when a man speaks to his wife. And I take my selfish needs out of it, <laughs> i.e. me wanting him all to myself. I need to understand them. So I need to sit down and I need to really think about how this is going to affect him. But this is a test to see how Allah is testing her to see how she responds. Mm, yeah. if, that's, you know, if she decides to do the opposite, which is, you know, um, you know, throw the divorce card or throw this card, then yeah, ultimately yeah. she's falling into the act of disobedience. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, with all due respect, yani, yani, I'm like your father. Huh? Uh, uh, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. If you are not a man enough to get married to a second woman, don't even dream about it because your first will come in your dreams and, gives you, and give you help. This is a well-known fact. They have the power to get into your dreams. Islamically, ah, there is no problem so. in a man getting married to another woman in Misyar yeah. without the first wife's knowledge. There's, no, there's actually, I've not seen one solitary difference of opinion in any of the 14 generations of Islam. Oh. It's not there. Which is? Any scholar saying that no, a woman needs to know, she needs to tell her, okay. it doesn't okay. exist. Yeah, that's it. We're talking about the religion of Islam. That none of you guys are okay with your uh, uh, husbands getting a second wife. Can I just quickly just get that out of the way? Sister Swad. Absolutely not. You're not okay with it? Yeah. Listen, sister. It, it's a no from me. And if okay. you have anything to say, say it now. <laughs> She's threatening uh, it. You're finished. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sister Amira. Yeah, no. No. Uh, sister Tyra. And I won't be happy with it. Sisters are under the impression that there is a man out there that is um, not polygamous. Because you guys are monogamous by nature, meaning you are, you just want your husband and you're happy with your husband. We are not created like that. And then he's got the financial thing where he can reduce, mm -hmm. he can, if she's being bad, she, he can take money away from her. This can be seen in this country as abuse. So if she, if she has evidence of that and she's got the stake backing, if he tries to impose his masculinity or his Islamic uh, you know, abilities on her, then she can respond in a malicious manner. Which is why I would say that if a woman shows her claws in that way, yeah. This is an option of secret, second, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. I think it becomes a very legitimate option. I'm sure some of you had the similar feelings with me. It was disgusting to hear such a video where young generation of ideology simply talking about you can have the second wife, which you don't even need to tell your first wife that you have the second wife. You can do this secretly. But not only you do this secretly, but you can also lie to your wife. If your wife gets suspicion and questions, you can lie. And they think it's funny. They can put color codes. 
white lie, sweet lie, black lie. Lying to a wife, the one whom you're supposed to share life, whom you're supposed to trust or put your trust in. It's okay to lie. It is encouraged to lie. But what is the justification for this? Have you picked up? Because it's in the Sunnah. Muhammad did so. Islam encourages for you to withhold the truth from your wife. And you notice the young generation, ladies were simply giggling in certain statements. That breaks our heart. And more painful part is, you are hearing ladies are justifying this. Oh yeah, it's okay. Allah is testing us with, Allah is testing us with this to see if we are being disobedient or not. Ah, oh, yeah, we need to think about the feelings of our husband. Of course, they express that they don't want second wife. At this stage, if their husband already have second, third and fourth wife, they don't even know about it. Why? Apparently, Allah is testing their disobedient skills. You heard the statement where, you heard the statement where Muslim missionary states that, well, this is something... Men can do it and none of the women can take this right from her. Why? Because their ideology, ideology of Islam, gives such a right to men. We don't care about your feelings. You might be our wives, but I don't care about your feelings. Islam allows me to have the second wife, third wife, fourth wife without telling you that I have the second, third or fourth wife. And when you question me, I can lie about it. I don't care about your feelings. Even though we share life together, still I do not care about your feelings. Also, it is encouraging that young lady expresses that she sees this as her value and her dignity is being taken away. She feels that her husband is cheating on her and in her mind this is not acceptable. To those of you, those Muslim ladies who think it is not acceptable when my husband lies me about anything in this situation, especially about having another wife, living double lives, living three different lives, living four different lives. I cannot take it. This is taking my value and my dignity away. All I can say is Christ crucified, glorified risen Lord gives you value and dignity. It is the word of God. It is the scripture tells us God made men and woman for one another. God made one man, one woman for one another. One man and one woman enters in a covenant to become husband and wife. There is no second person. There is no third person in the biblical marriage. Man and woman, husband and wife becomes one flesh until they die. That's the honor God of Bible gives us. To honor God, to honor one another, to love God and to love one another. Keep away from Islam.